Today, I'm gonna show you how to get a tan in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is so cool. I'm gonna show you how to get a tan in Photoshop, which after spending the entire winter in Chicago, I'm in definite need of. This is something you can do really quickly, actually, and it's gonna make a huge difference in skin tone on your subject. The key here is to color the highlights and the shadows of your skin separately. And then we're gonna bring in a selective color adjustment layer to fine tune the color, making it the perfect tan. All right, guys, we got a fun episode. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So here's our subject for today. I wanted to choose someone with really bright skin. That way we can see what a difference we can make in Photoshop. Now we wanna target the highlights and the shadows separately when we're trying to tan skin in Photoshop. It's because we need to bring the highlights down in color and we also need to add some color to those highlights. So the first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna create an adjustment layer and I'm gonna to go to solid color. This is a solid color adjustment layer and we wanna choose a nice orange. We wanna go relatively bright with this and not too saturated, okay? So somewhere right about here. Now, don't worry, we can always change this color at any point in time. So if you don't nail it with the first go round, it's not a big deal, okay? But you want it to be light orange and not too saturated. There we go, let's hit okay. All right, now we're gonna change our blending mode. We're gonna go from normal down to color burn and it's gonna burn that color into our image. All right. And that's looking pretty good. Now the only thing that a color burn layer is doing that we don't want is it's affecting the highlights as well as the shadows. And you can see the highlights do look pretty good, but the shadows are taking on this really kind of like too dark, too saturated tone. So what we're gonna do is make this layer not visible in the shadows. So to make this layer invisible from the shadows, we're gonna click right here on our color fill. There we go, we're gonna go to FX and down to blending options. Now here in our blending options, we're gonna take a look at where it says blend if, okay? And I want this to not be visible where the shadows are. So we're gonna hold Alt or Option and click from the left and we're just gonna slide this to the right to make this invisible from the shadows. And as I go from the left to the right, you're gonna see it's gonna to start to disappear from the shadows. And just like that, looks really, really nice. Let's hit okay and hit the before and the after. So Command Z, there's the before and the after. So now we can see this color is affecting the highlight color of our image, but not the shadows. And this is a lot of our tan. So now it's time to fine tune this a little bit. We're gonna double click here on our color and I can try adding a little bit more color, okay? Now we can see this orange color is a little bit too, uh, it's really the wrong hue. So we wanna bring this down just a little bit. There we go. And now we're starting to look like back in the right hue. Still, we've got too much effect going on here. So remember, this is for, there we go. This is for our highlights. There we go, somewhere right about there. And we're gonna be doing our shadows separately. All right, bring that right down there. Cool. Now, I like this color, but it's still affecting a little bit too much of the shadows. So let's go back to FX, go to blending options, okay? And now here we can take this left side of the slider and just drag that to the right just a little bit. That's gonna make the layer not visible on the shadows. There we go. Looking good. All right guys, now it's time to affect our shadows of this image, really completing the effect. So we're gonna grab another adjustment layer and this time we're gonna go to solid color again, basically doing about the same thing. We're just going to be affecting the shadows here. Okay, now here's our color. We're gonna change the layer blend mode from this time from normal down to multiply. Okay, this is gonna be for our shadows. Now, we got a couple of things we need to look at here. First, it's affecting our background as well, and it's affecting the highlights and the shadows of my image. So we're gonna double click here, or you can go FX blending options, or you can just double click here. They both do the same thing. Okay, so here's our layer style. Now, in this case, I actually want this layer to disappear from the background, okay? So if I don't want something to show up where, any, where my background is white, we can go from the right to the left. So hold Alt or Option and click from the right to the left. There we go. And it's going to not show up where the highlights are. There we go. Now I'm gonna keep going here. All right. 
And now we have this layer only visible in our shadows. Okay, so when we wanted to do the highlights, I went from the left to the right, and now here from the shadows, we're going to the right, from the right to the left. All right, let's hit okay and turn this layer off and on and see how that looks. It just gives a little bit more of a round color here. So instead of only affecting our highlights, we're also affecting our shadows. All right, let's go back to FX here, our blending options, and I want this to affect our highlights a little bit less, so we're gonna bring this from the right to the left just a little bit more. All right, that looks great. Now it's time to pick our color. Let's double click here, and we wanna make sure we're choosing the right color. So this is, again, we're gonna do all this by look. If you go too far to the right, you're gonna be way too saturated. So you wanna make sure you stay right about here in the middle, okay? And then you want, obviously wanna stay in the orange range. That's gonna give you the most natural look. Let's pop a little bit more red in there. All right. Very nice. This looks good. A little bit more red. All right. And we're looking really nice. Cool. Let's hit OK. Let's look at this before and the after with that, and the before and the after with the highlights. So both off, you can see where we started, and both back on. We're looking a lot better and a lot more tanned. All right, guys, so using these techniques, we've affected both the shadow color and the highlight color of our skin, and that's really important when you wanna change someone's skin just like this. Now, the skin tone is getting really close, but it's not quite there, so we're gonna use a selective color adjustment layer to really dial it in. So we're gonna go to our adjustment layer and go all the way down to the bottom where it says selective color. Okay, now this is the secret here, because this looks pretty good, but the skin tone looks still a little bit fake. So with our selective color, we wanna make sure we're affecting the red. That's gonna be our skin tone, okay? And here we wanna bring up our cyans. We wanna make sure we have a little bit more cyan in our skin. There we go. We're gonna bring our magenta up just a little bit and we can bring our yellow down just a little bit as well. Now, this is gonna depend on your image. Obviously, like each image is gonna call for a slightly different amount of color balance. But when you are affecting skin as we're doing, it's really nice to be able to finely tune the reds in the skin. You wanna make sure, you know, if you're coming out look like that, obviously you have way too much green in your image. So you wanna pull this magenta slider up until you have that nice magenta in your image. All right, a little bit of yellow in there. And then cyan really helps to balance it out. You can see if you have, there we go, too much red in your image, just like this, the cyan will really help to balance that out. All right, cool. So let's turn this off and on so we can see there's the before and the after with that. Looking pretty good. I just wanna add like a little bit more magenta. Turn this off and on. And sometimes it really helps to zoom out so you can see what skin tone looks like really far away. And that'll just help you to adjust your skin color a little bit better. All right. There we go. And then we can look at both of these layers and I can change the opacity for these as well. Maybe we can say like, oh, that was, that's looking really good, but maybe just a little bit too strong. So we can change those colors as well. And we can always double click here and say, you know what? I'd like this to be slightly less saturated. And there we go. I think that's looking good. Just a little bit less saturated color in our highlights. All right. Cool, very nice. So after we create all three layers, it's time to kind of play with them and make sure that they all work together really well to create the end image that you want. All right, and I think we're looking great here. Let's go ahead and close that down and show you guys the before and the after. Here's our before and the after. All right guys, that's all there is to giving your subject a tan in Photoshop. Just follow these key steps. It's really important that you adjust your highlights and your shadows separately. For our highlights, we grabbed the solid color adjustment layer, changed our blending mode from normal down to color burn, and then chose a nice desaturated orange. We don't want this layer to show up in our shadows, so we went to FX and down to blending options, and then hold Alt or Option and drag the black slider from the left to the right. This is gonna make this slider disappear in the shadows. Now when it comes to the shadows, we're gonna choose a solid color adjustment layer and choose a nice orange that's not too saturated. We're gonna change our blending mode from normal down to multiply 
And then this time in the layer effects, we're going to change our blending options so where blend diff is not visible in the highlights. So we're going to hold Alt or Option and drag from the right to the left, making this area not visible in the lights of the image. So now we've got a lot of color in both the highlights and the shadows of our skin. And it's time to refine those colors. So we go to Adjustment Layers and down to Selective Color. Now, be sure to choose red here because that's what's going on in your skin. And here we can adjust our cyans, magentas, and blue levels to make sure we get the exact color we want for our tan skin. If you want to refine the tan a little bit more, you can always open up those solid color adjustment layers and fine tune those colors. That's going to really allow you to choose the right color for the tan skin. And that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. I hope you like learning how to add yourself a little bit of tan in Photoshop. If you love Photoshop like I do, you want to click on your screen right about now. We're going to send you free Photoshop and photography videos every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or comment about today's episode, I'd love to hear from you. Just leave it in a comment right down below. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. If only a tan were this easy in real life. Click, click, boo. That's pretty fancy.